Mil Magda Douglas Mavikas and Chuck the Matty McGrath, I sucked on I sucked on Amish them. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> this women's health action plan is welcome. And when I welcome it, I put it in a context as I try to do always. And we're talking about a radical listening, listening, invest and deliver. That has never happened. Let's be honest, Minister. And I know the senior minister had to leave and he had a genuine reason. But I do wish he was here because I never like talking when he's not here. So listen, invest and deliver has simply never happened for women in Ireland. That's the first thing. And so if we look at the national maternity strategy, 100 years after 1916, we managed to pass a national maternity strategy. Revolutionary. It took 100 years to be revolutionary. And then we sat on that and we did nothing. Last June, I put a motion and the government agreed with it, fair play to them. And on foot of the HICWA, I think, I, I might have the organisation wrong, but I think it was HICWA who were extremely concerned at the lack of an action plan in relation to the implementation of the strategy. So we get lots of strategies which are very positive, couldn't fault the strategy, but it wasn't being implemented. And now today in this speech, we're told that for the first time last year and this year, that strategy has been fully uh, re resourced. Can you imagine that? It took until 2021, and that strategy came on the foot of the deaths and suffering of women, as has this strategy. And the, the, so we look at uh, Savita Halapanavar, we look at Port Leash, we look at Port Yonkla and many other hospitals where women died or suffered are the children. And so finally we get a strategy, we don't implement it, we bring motions and then finally a little bit is implemented. And then we have this strategy and it would be churlish of me not to welcome the positive things in it and some of the money that's been ring fenced. But when you actually look at what we're doing um, and the need for it, it's extraordinary. The basic, basic services that should be there as of right, we're now highlighting them and saying it's radical. Well, I'm not of that view. I'm of the view that we simply cannot have an equal society. We can't have a thriving economy without health for everyone, but particularly women and children, because they are most vulnerable. And we, that will help our economy, and we've never done it. It has never made sense to me that we talk about strategy after strategy and action after action in relation to domestic violence, for example, when every single year it costs the economy, at a conservative estimate, 2.2 billion euros per year alone lost to the economy. So on that sense, it makes eminent sense to deal with the challenges that are facing us immediately and in an equal way. We haven't done that. So here we are today telling us that listen, invest and deliver. And then even more patronisingly, we're, we're told that it's radical listening. Radical listening. Well, you haven't listened to us in relation to the National Maternity Hospital, have you? And each time that this side of the House has raised it with the Taoiseach, and I'm not personalising it to you, uh, Minister, but we've raised it in every way. We've ex exhausted the... Um, De democratic means of raising the National Maternity Hospital to show our concern, to show our worry. And what we got back was a cynical, bring a motion, bring a motion. Well, we brought, we brought three motions. I brought a motion on the 2nd of June calling, amongst other things, for the implementation of the National Maternity Strategy and for the hospital, the National Maternity Hospital, to be in public ownership on public land. Roshan Shortall on the same month my motion was approved by government. In relation to Roshan Shortall, the government didn't uh, oppose the motion. And then my colleague, Joan Collins, brought another motion. We have used ever, ever, all our private members' time to say we are extremely concerned what's happening. No radical listening there. Actually, a patronising three males at the top telling us that they will come back when they are assured and then they'll reassure us in relation to that. Later tonight, I'll be coming back to that. In relation to this plan, and the word empowering w w women and women jumped out of the national maternity. It doesn't so much jump out of this, but what does jump out are the words of the women who engaged and the various organisations said, enough is enough, we want action. And so we look at what's happening in, in relation to women. We look at the recent report from uh, the midwives' views of evidence-based intervention to reduce caesarean directions, caesarean section rates. So we talk about empowering women. We talk about normalising the birth process. And what do we find? We find that the rate of caesarean is absolutely 
I, 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 words fail me. Caesarean sections rose from 34.3% in 2019 to 35.4% in 2020. That's some medical intervention by a patriarchal medical model. And we're empowering women with that. I haven't enough time to go into it, but it's worth reading it. And then we look at breastfeeding. And I welcome that we're getting money, ring fence for lactation experts. But I don't think that's the solution at all. Of course, it'll be helpful. But we've got to normalise breastfeeding. We've got to make it normal. And that's not what's happening. We're now making it into an expertise. There is a role for experts. But it's the normalisation part that we're ignoring. And the system is deliberately geared to keep the figures extremely low. Do you know what the percentage is for women at six months? At six months, fewer than 6% of babies in Ireland are exclusively breastfed. 6%, less than 6%. I know from my own experience and from my friends and my colleagues how difficult it is and how not normal it is in the setup in the hospitals for breastfeeding. And then the answer is more experts. I don't think that's the answer myself, but I, I can see the use of them on occasions. In relation to uh, uh, assisted human reproduction, I think the minister made a comment he's looking forward to the bill very soon. That bill is not going to be very soon. That bill is extremely complex, notwithstanding that the discussion started in 2022 years ago. I'm over time, so I'll stop.